Thank you, Marion. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce Dr. Mary Papazian, the President of Southern Connecticut State University. Thank you, Dr. Papazian, for being our distinguished educational partner and for being such an integral part of the Hall's successes over the years. Dr. Papazian. Thank you, Susan, and congratulations to you and your staff on staging a memorable event this evening. And let's have one final round of applause for the group of remarkable women who have been honored at this induction ceremony. I, leaders in technology, public relations, and landscape architecture, our three inductees are a testament to the strength of women's empowerment and education and their individual legacies of achievement will continue to make a profound difference for years to come. Southern Connecticut State University is proud to host the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame, an organization that honors the accomplishments of outstanding Connecticut women, and in doing so, inspires new generations of young women and girls to follow in their footsteps. At Southern, our task as an institution of higher learning complements the efforts of the Hall of Fame as we provide opportunities for young women and young men to further themselves educationally, inspire them to achieve, and encourage them to work within the social and political arenas to see that all are given a fair chance. We are passionate about educating future female scientists and engineers along with teachers, nurses, businesswomen, journalists, artists, doctors, and individuals in scores of other occupations. In recent years, our enrollment in STEM courses has grown by more than 20% as we develop new programs in workforce demand fields such as applied physics, chemistry, and nanotechnology. And as you may know, Next spring, we will open a $49 million academic and laboratory science building, which will provide myriad new opportunities for student learning and research. The four-story structure will include a supercomputing lab, a saltwater aquaria room, an analytics lab for testing levels of mercury and other contaminants, and the state's first center dedicated to the cutting-edge field of nanotechnology. This building will serve as a launching pad to new community partnerships and establish Southern as a regional leader in the sciences. And by the way, it is a beautiful building, and I invite all of you to come and have a walkthrough when we open it next year. Our new Dean of the School of Education, Dr. Stephen Hagedis, is an innovative leader in STEM education and curricular development. And Dr. Christine Broadridge, who's actually here tonight, a former academic honoree at this event and one of Connecticut's leading researchers in the fields of nanotechnology and material science, is our new director of STEM initiatives. In her role, Christine will be developing new programs on campus and building partnerships with governmental, business, and other academic organizations. These ventures are important as it is critical that our academic programming evolves apace with the new demands of our economy. At Southern, we look to build on our opportunities, partnering with the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame to ensure that all young women realize their full potential and join the ranks of those we have honored here this evening. Let's give them all one more round of applause and to all who worked so hard tonight. It was a wonderful evening. Thank you, and now I have the pleasure of releasing you into the evening and to your travels home. I do hope they're safe. Thank you very much.